What I else I was having a good time with was the Crisis on Infinite Earths trailer. Yeah, that's you're a segue, like a, isn't that it? That is a segue. Yeah. You're a big fan of those TV shows, right? So here's the deal. <laughs> yeah, I guess. here I love DC, and I watch every DC CW TV show, including the, the off, like, iZombies and right. Legend of Tomorrow of the World, but Supergirl, Black Lightning, Arrow, Flash, all of them I watch. I, I love, I loved them all at one time. Uh, they've definitely peaked and valleyed. Some of them suck at times, and, but I've hung in, and I feel like crisis. I feel like I have been waiting for this for eight years. Okay. So I'm so, so invested. I was going to say I feel like I've earned this and deserved it as a fan, but then it started having reminiscence of Christian Harloff uh, circa uh, Galaxy's Edge. Galaxy Gate. So I, yeah, so I changed my verbiage, but then <laughs> I let you guys know what I was thinking anyway because no fucking filter. Yep. Anyway, so I feel Start like a petition. This, this is for the people like me who have spent eight years watching fucking eight TV shows right, right. and like are ready for this. You're like, I have done my time. Done, yeah, <laughs> totally. And talk about it every single week on DC Movie News and have covered multiple of the shows on all different outlets, including After Buzz, Only Stupid Answers, Source Fed, you know, uh, Screen Junkies, Nerdist. Like, I've talked about these shows for years. So I am fucking ready for this. <laughs> I am ready for Crisis. That being said, I think it's also for People like Riley, who yep. love Superman right. in general, like Smallville, and want to see this. Mm -hmm. Or you guys, just nerdy as hell. Right. Like, it, it's all, I think they're doing a great job finding something for everyone right now. And this trailer really did that. Really did that for me. Well, like, yeah. I, I tried to put my head in all different <coughs> positions, and I was like, I think anybody can find something they like in this. Yeah, because even if I'm not into these shows as much i'm more of a casual fan because my husband watches all of them right like he's obsessed with them he loved flash forever uh but just seeing the trailer i'm like oh yeah even if i don't catch up i can just watch that episode and, mm -hmm. and i can just watch the series and be happy well so. they're definitely not it's not like a rocket science where if you yeah if you watch this and you'll be like what the hell is happening here it, it, it's superhero stuff so and i think supermen and all the people all the all the people yeah yeah, that, yeah. that's what i want to see i just want to see how they're going to meet up with Smallville's Clark Kent and, and you know, the other Superman and how does Brandon Routh's Superman come in? And, so you are going to watch. Oh, I'm definitely going to watch because you of, are too. to your point, Roxy, it's yeah. the fact that there's something for everybody. I'm a Superman guy, so I can look at this on the outside having, I have not seen one episode of any of these Arrow, Flash, Black Lightning, any of these, but I watched a couple seasons of Smallville, so, but for this, it's just like, let me just watch and have fun. And mm -hmm. see if I can keep up with with all of it. I just want to see some cool Superman action and see how they do the story for uh, for a, a well known comic run. I think it's great if you're a nerd about the comic book, the original comic book, Crisis of Infinite Earths, and other stuff. I mean, having the monitor on there is like, I never thought I'd see that yeah, on screen. It's, wild. it's kind of mind blowing. Um, and having all all the play, bringing back Tom Welling, Kevin Conroy playing the Batman, which is essentially the as cool. the the Asriel Batman when when Batman has has his back broken by Bane. Mm -hmm. So like, oh, this is an interesting version of Batman you want to bring into the situation. Is that for real? I think so. Yeah. I mean, him coming down in the thing is With how Batman yeah. was. Kevin cool. Conroy. What? <coughs> what? What do you mean, Kevin Conroy? Kevin, Kevin Conroy. Conroy. He's actually going to be. Did in you this. see him in the, in the trailer? In the trailer? No, I didn't. Yeah, I With missed the it. Wait, but this is, that was him when he's walking down the steps. Holy and shit! Okay, this is that's what I'm saying. Something for everybody. But this is what I'm confused about, John. As a fan of the of the CW shows i don't understand so we know that kate kane i'm just gonna spoilers for batwoman okay yeah. uh, if you're watching the show what you know is that when she was a kid she was in a car accident and uh that's when her and there's a situation with her mom and her sister but batman came and saved her out yeah. of the car yeah. mm -hmm. batman being her cousin right. so he has to be old enough older than her enough that at least he was batman by right. that right. point right. but kate kane is ruby rose mm -hmm. ruby rose is i don't know 30 something yeah sure kevin conroy is 60 something 60 something mm -hmm. when yeah. when kevin conroy walks in and she says bruce so you're telling me that kevin conroy is this batwoman's Cousin? Multiverse. Could be. I guess so. No, but not multiverse, because oh. that's our, our Kate. I mean, oh. I, 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 or See, maybe multiverse. But the way she says Bruce is shock. 
So So you think he had just introduced himself and said, I'm Bruce, and she said, Bruce? Or you think that no. she... I think he's a Bruce from another ultimate, right. uh, an alternate timeline, and she sees him walking with all the stuff on, and she's like shocked to see him look that way. But you think that's what her, that's the age difference of her Bruce? Could be. I yeah, I, I, don't know. I think the timeline it's, I mean, it sounds ba- more like it. Because if Batman's in his thirties when he saves her, how old is she? Well, I don't know if he's in his thirties, but okay. I guess if he's Batman, then maybe he's kind of ageless. Plus, it's how old, how old was she when she was rescued? Did you say <coughs> a kid? She was a kid. A kid so let's seven say seven, seven or something. Yeah, but the guy Luke Fox, uh, Luke Fox is Batman's Lucius Fox. No, Lucius Luke Fox. Fox. But so he's Luke called Fox. Luke Fox. Yeah. Okay. Um, actually, it's Lucius Fox's son. son yeah. Um, ah, okay. Luke Fox is like left behind in the, in the Batcave, basically, right. and he is Ruby Rose's age. But he worked for Kevin Conroy. I just I I'm. So excited for this in every aspect. However, I hope it makes sense. Yeah. Because we've got a lot of fan <laughs> service going on, and I use that as a pretty word, not an ugly word. Fan service can be really great. Right. But the fact that we are throwing in everything from like images of Nick Cage yeah. to uh, Kevin Conroy right, right, right. to Michael, Michael Keaton. Keaton. Michael, mm-hmm. Yeah. Like there have been so many rumors too. I don't know how many of them are true, how many of them are not true. That Brandon Routh is going to be both the Adam and, and Superman. Superman yep, yep. That we've got three Supermans. Tyler Hecklin's also coming in. Tom Welling. Like there's just so much stuff going on right. that I'm like, please, dear God, make this make sense because you can't risk the storyline for the sake of bringing back actors. Mm. But we have five episodes mm. to do it. And what's really cool about that <laughs> is that three of those episodes take place. In December, yeah, and then two of them wait an entire month. So that means that we can have a really cool cliffhanging kind oh, of yeah, thing. Oh yeah, for sure. Which I'm all about. And really quick from the comments, a lot of people are saying that uh, my cousins are my parents' age and blah blah blah. So there you go. Yeah, I guess There's so. That. I just when every time she's talked about Bruce, I've pictured somebody yeah. like ten years older right, than her, right. just because she said they were close growing right. up. Like, but I guess it but could it's be. not the Earth Batman technically. So yeah, I don't know. Yeah, yeah. I'm just, I just and hope Batman's it's like gone for a little bit, but he's still like Batman. Mm-hmm. I just hope it's like Days of Future Past, where whatever they do, well, that they just did that, <laughs> but I liked it. So mm-hmm. whatever, I had fun during the movie, you know. Yeah, Something and by the question. end of it, I'm hoping that boom, one one Earth, so now we can have more crossovers. Yes, like everybody's Earth 38. Yeah, yeah Earth 38, exactly, which was cool to see Let's that see. in the mm-hmm. in the teaser or what's, the trailer as well. What's your favorite? What do you think it's the best show out of all of them? It's so hard to answer because ask me per week. Like okay. they're the most consistent from start to finish has been Arrow. Yeah. Although there was two years where Arrow sucked. That's mm-hmm. when I stopped watching. Right. Uh, I couldn't. It, yeah. It, the love triangle was fucking annoying. And yeah, there you go. <laughs> I, and it so definitely was never my favorite. I always loved favorite. Supergirl and Flash, but Legends <clears throat> of Tomorrow has been my favorite for a That's while. That's my okay. favorite. And then Titans is uh, popping in oh. to this crossover is as Doom well. Is Doom coming into this I one? haven't heard that. Okay. I've only heard That'd Titans. But, yeah. the, but Titans was awesome this season. Yeah. Season one I didn't love. Season two was amazing. So I don't know. I, I go... I go back and forth, and then I guess my favorite DC show that's currently on the air is Watchmen, which is the well, one show yeah. that won't be but that's appearing in this. Although that would be wild if it did. That'd be great. Alan Moore would shit himself. <laughs> <laughs> Why is Dr. Manhattan would, is, is that no. Rorschach? Alan Moore would shit a blue dildo. That's what would happen if that happened. <laughs> 